Did you know there's at least four different ways to handle immutability in TypeScript? Let's talk through them. First, you could use object.freeze, which is actually just a plain JavaScript feature. You pass it an object, and then all the properties on that object are frozen, in other words, immutable, so I couldn't change x or y on this object. The second option is to use the read-only access modifier, which I could use on either an interface or in type alias. And when I use this, that means that that field is immutable. So I couldn't change X or Y here since they're both decorated as read only. I can do this on a field by field basis. So it's more discrete than object.freeze, which freezes everything. The third option is the read only utility. Here I have an interface point, but notice that down here I've declared point as read only using the built in read only utility. So this marks all the properties on the point interface as read only. Therefore, again, I couldn't change either X or Y. The final option is an as const assertion. So I could declare an object literal and then decorate it with as const, which marks all of the fields as read only. So again, I can't change X or Y in this case. So you might wonder, how do you choose between all these? Well, object.freeze freezes everything and it is the only option here that is a runtime protection. Whereas the last three options that I showed are all TypeScript features, so they're only protecting you at compile time. That's a trade-off because runtime safety also has runtime overhead. Object.freeze is not free. Whereas all these compile time features built into TypeScript, since they don't exist at runtime, there is no runtime overhead. And for more on TypeScript, check out my new course, TypeScript Getting Started on Dome Train.